global the tensions are extremely high be and between the two countries um, Iranian regime really hasn't changed what it wanted to do is doing what it was doing it for longest time and that is to expand is uh, reach into all all over the Middle East uh, from uh, we, uh, f uh, to the east, from uh, Western Afghanistan, all the way uh, through Iraq, to uh, uh, Lebanon, to uh, uh, Syria, uh, and, uh, and uh, down in the Persian Gulf, to uh, Yemen, and, and, and all the places. So they want, they want to keep their, their hegemony. They want to they keep that land, so-called land bridge active between Tehran and, and Syria. So that's, that's what they want to do. Uh, they are under a lot of pressure, though, from the uh, U.S. side, uh, because U.S. now has amassed the uh, largest naval air uh, uh, forces in the region. Uh, we have uh, not only uh, strike carrier groups uh, in, in, in the region, we also have B-52s, we also have F-35s, the later generations of the, mm -hmm. of the, ge of the uh, uh, military jets. Uh, so uh, so um, any, any day if a mistake happens, if Iran continues its aggressive behavior, especially if uh, U.S. interests are, are, in, uh, are hit uh, against U.S. installation, against U.S. personnel, I would expect that the U.S. will um, severely answer that, uh, much more forcefully than Iranians have ever thought.